Millfield, the visitors, their school's championship debut. It is going to be an absolute rock and roll of a game. We are so excited to be here. We're looking forward to the challenge today that, you know, we'll know it will be a, a tough game, but one that we're really looking forward to. Um, we are currently 1-2, lost 2, um, kind of bit up and down, but we're, you know, really looking to, forward to this game to kind of really put a marker down for our season. Yeah, play! Come on to the ball, Jack Lee, come on to the ball. Nice, Brocker. Hit on Tom Howlett. We should be in for a really exciting game with two teams that, that actually want to play and move the ball a fair bit. Hopefully we'll see the best of them. Yeah, it's going to be tough out there, boys. Yeah, so let's do it right. Yeah, let's do it for us, let's do it for each other. Go on, we go! said before but we've got to keep saying it because what a treat it is in mid-October to have that sunshine. Howlett kicks us off. Millfield battering away at the Wellington College try line. And across the line they go this time. We do not sharp hit. We keep going. Keep getting, you're on top of it, mate. You're on top of them. Just keep working in that half. Great support, Henry. Keep up, mate. Keep up. Work hard. Have a look. Have a look. Taylor floats one over the top to a fire. A fire down the left hand side. We know how quick he is. Wellington College inches from the try line. Oh, and over the top, Harrison Hall. Wellington College, strike back. We've got to work hard to get the numbers there so we can go and make our tackle. Set. I'm on that side. Well, someone's got to go and intercept it. Offload. Oh, what wonderful hands from Harrison Hall. Oh, that is beautiful stuff from Wellington College. Chase, keep chasing. George, well done. Good effort. Wonderful rugby from Wellington. Right, how much easier do you want the game to be, boys? You've just got to make your tackles low, boys. That's literally it. Because they have no playmakers, they have no movement ball. That's not you, you've done all you can there. You've done all you can, but it's nothing to do with you. Wellington College survive through to the half time break. A stunning first half of rugby, and we go in at the break. Wellington College 14, Millfield 19. Our composure needs your leadership to be able to steady the ship, really. I'm like, oh, boys, we're okay here. I've no doubt that you're a better team here, okay? I give you that absolute confidence. There's a danger with that, because predictably what will happen is they'll get a sniff of being in the game. The Wellington boys will often talk about, now's our chance. That's why they want to play downhill in the second half. Just quick one for me, when we've held onto the ball for multiple phases, we've scored tries. Keep back in the system and the structure, because we'll get there and we've scored good tries from that. get a Millfield penalty and Davis again goes fast. Lee now to Ebsworth. Ebsworth through the hand. It's out to Cottrell on the far side and Cottrell is across athletically for his second try of the game. Some finish from the Millfield fullback. Be nice to get the ball back from the kickoff, but uh, we're just, yeah, it's just that composure and, and realise we need to start playing. Don't shut down in terms of thinking, and that's that's the key to avoid that. Is think, don't think we're going to try and hang on. Just keep attacking. So it's intercepted by Millfield. It's a foot race for the try line. Who's going to get there first? Stefan Emmanuel is going to win the foot race. Stefan Emmanuel is going to score Millfield's fifth try. Five tries, two in two minutes. Millfield are having a debut in the school's championship to remember. 
Millfield have won here on big side. 31 points to 28. It's a huge game, you know, look, look at the calendar, it's kind of one the boys would kind of circle. It was a great game, fantastic, getting, you know, advert for school rugby and I think if the game had gone on much longer, um, unfortunately we'd have fallen on the wrong side of the rock result, I think. I don't think I remember winning it. I'm speechless, really. It's just fantastic to, to come and do that. Uh, they've thrown absolutely everything at you. What a team, team effort, just in terms of the way you guys are pulled together. What a day said before, special days, you remember them, superb. Just important to realise actually if that result had been the other way, loads of good stuff about what we've done and it feels fantastic that we've won, but it's still a shed load of learning for us to do. That little last five minutes that you've just put in there, that's bags of learning for us, bags of learning and loads to be proud of. In the southwest of England, Millfield School Rugby Programme is about to embark on yet another ambitious season. But Rugby Union is only one of a collective array of sporting, academic and cultural opportunities for any one of its 1300 students. We want to be the global leader in providing limitless opportunities for the development of those individuals. Successful seasons would all come as part of a process within the school. They come here because they're ambitious around their sport. Genuinely create one of the most unique development environments through sport anywhere that you could go. As reigning champions, there's a big emphasis on the first 15 doing well this year. There's only one acceptable result and that's winning. There's no excuse. We're at the best we can be. Just don't know what we're doing. I don't know why he's passing it to it. It was such an exciting time for us to show our best attack. You can see that passion's there to get better. We've never played these guys. Let's go out and see what they're made of. It's, it's normally a bit weird when I tell people I'm a rugby playing dancer. He's a good boy actually. He's trying to take on the world. A positive attacking style is how we like to play rugby. For the very first time, the season travels to the United Kingdom to focus on one of England's strongest rugby nurseries. There's plenty of road left on your Millfield journey. As coaches, we're not being challenged. We desperately want you to be with us. And you have a big impact on the team. Knocks down the first man, is in behind. Oh, and it could be the new man. Can we do a good enough job? Can we live up to last year's expectations? For the first time, we have consecutive champions on the biggest stage that schoolboy rugby has to offer. This is Millfield, and this is the season. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if any of you picked it up last night, but yeah, I just put it on the group. I think it's a really good video just in terms of our position now. So where we've come from, from that Wellington win, okay? It's a great win, whatever. But what do we do next? You know, there's a massive tournament on Saturday. It gets watched all over the place. So what do we do next in terms of our week now leading up to St. Joe's? Some of the boys who were there last year will realise that it's a two-day full-on tournament. If you're not prepared for it, you're not going to win. I can show you a photo of how not to prepare for St. Joe's. Um, some of you may know who this man is, brought an engine to, uh, to the tournament last year. Um, but yeah, I think it's good, bring what you need. Um, might not be an engine, but make sure you've got the right stuff with you because the boys last year did and we, and we won it. With the school term well underway, the first 15 prepare for the prestigious St. Joseph's Festival, the UK's highest profile tournament. After two early losses in the season, the coaching staff are keen to get the team back on track. Are you using the whiteboard as uh, inspo? Uh, yeah, I can do, yeah, good ideas, helps me think. So you play, play a, a sort of warm up of that. Yeah, and you could play that as like just a normal touch game. Yeah. 
So this would be reasonably high intensity workout. Yeah. I think we could play in 12 and a half minute blocks to replicate St. Joe's. And get us on the timings of that, so like 12. I need to double check. The game times change. What, well, it changed Over last year? Or? Yeah, so they change from day to day. The duration of all matches on Saturday shall be 30 minutes, 15 minutes each way with a three minute interval at half time. Just check that, is that last year's? Definitely last year's. 2019. That was one before, yeah. So three games of 12 and a half minutes. And the second day, the games go down to 10 minutes each way. Mm, brutal. Yeah, that's a shocker, isn't it? St. Joseph's is a special weekend. We take 24 boys for a two day tournament to the other side of the country. It's also a real test of endurance and courage for the boys. Seven games in two days, you make the final. And it, and it has a very sort of unique atmosphere to the games because they're very short. So it perhaps adds a level of pressure and means the games are much more competitive than maybe a 70 minute game might become at a different stage in the season. I wonder about just playing one, that's it. Yeah. One game. So it's 25 minutes plus is 28 minutes, you know, half the session be half an hour. But it'll be full um, tilt. I think for the 2022-23 season, there'll be challenges every step of the way for the team and they'll need to enjoy absolutely every moment. These boys will live and breathe their, their rugby journey. That will be over five years for many of them. They'd feel absolutely a, a strong affinity to their teammates, but also to the school, just by virtue of the fact that they've been living here and playing sport here for years, rather than just a matter of days or weeks. Good morning Upper Sixth, it's really nice to have a chance to say a few things to you this morning. This half of term has gone, I think, on the whole really well. You arrived back in September in a purposeful frame of mind and it's been a really productive and positive few weeks, so well done. So the next couple of weeks, for lots of us, a chance to recuperate, to rest, to consolidate some of the work that we've done over the first half of term. But for some amongst us, there's going to be some really important competitions and opportunities over half term. I'd like to start with wishing the first 15 the best of luck at the St Joseph's tournament this half term. As reigning champions, there's a really, really big emphasis on the, the first 15 doing well this year and I'm sure all of us are wishing them an excellent chance this half term. Millfield has disrupted education since 1935. In that respect, our values are very traditional. However, we want to be the global leader in providing limitless opportunities for the development of children. Millfield is diverse in a way that other schools aren't, and that diversity comes in all forms. So we have children from 70 different nationalities. 500 come on a plane. We're neurologically diverse. There's something called the Millfield mix, I think, which really describes fundamentally what, what it's about. The school is set up and framed to deliver a unique development journey for every young individual and therefore the in, every individual that comes into Millfield has a very different and unique experience because of the way that's set up. The founding principles of the school were very much around opportunity and opportunity to be good at something or anything and very much understanding that that might not be the orthodox academic route. Sport's always been positioned here 
on an equal basis to academics and also to the pastoral care that goes on. Many other schools, it sort of sits a little bit secondary, but I think this place has always valued sport for what it can bring to young people. Yes, they'll win on the way, yes, they'll lose, but we don't measure it by whether we happen to be the best rugby school in the UK. That will be a consequence of us having the best development processes, spending an immense amount of time thinking deeply about what we're trying to create and therefore the experiences we're trying to give to people. Our legacy is decent individuals who leave school and will contribute to the world around them in a positive way. And ultimately that's far more important than doing well at sport and winning and losing etc. But it is the stuff we learn from playing sport. Um, well, are you thinking about uh, weekend and Ipswich and stuff? Well, I really want to play, mm. so I, like, I wouldn't mind strapping it up in order to play. Mm. And the thing is, I'm just kind of, I'd probably take quite a lot of like, paracetamol or stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thing. Mr. Ryan and I have discussed it, and, yeah. and having spoke to you, and uh, it was sort of maybe moving towards more likely that you not playing at Ipswich. We'd, we'd desperately want you to be with us and in the squad if we could make that work. You know, you, you have a big impact on the team, your, your influence in terms of where you play and things like that is important to the squad. The difficult thing is, once we're there, there's no hiding place in terms of, you know, we need everyone fit to play. What we wouldn't be able to do is hold you back. We need, you know, 24 to start with 24 fit guys and that's that's a sort of challenge so let's have another let's go to training we'll give us give me a chance to have a think about it good see you at training cheers hugo be tough saint joe's week wow harry beasley just rocked up 17 past four did he yeah i'll i'll take that up with the fine committee Okay, any come, guys. So 25 minute games on Saturday. Uh, that time slips by pretty quick. So we'll train in blocks tonight of that 12 and a half minutes. Get your head right. Okay, I'm ready to go. We're gonna go two short spaces of time here to be uh, as close as we can to full tilt. Yes, yes. Osh, you in or out? Yes, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in! Go! Hey, I got him! Look up, look up! Red! Up! A two-day tournament is more than just how physical you can be. It's uh, a lot upstairs, a lot mentally. And I think that's the biggest part, you know, we're a good enough side to go out and win it. It's, it's whether we can control ourselves and control our minds. Game management is the number one knowing how to control a game when we need to protect a lead and then especially being clinical because it's such a short game as well. Our natural approach and our, our playing style would be about to, to move the ball as much as we can. 12-0 red, red's 12, green nil. You may only have one or two opportunities to attack and I think that's something we need to, to get a balance right in terms of being able to get across the line in the, in the games that the boys play. 3-0 down, no clearer. Um, boys, just one thing for me. There's one down at the breakdown, yeah? So let's make sure we're working really hard on the fringes. Okay, make sure we got our ones and twos there. All right, otherwise the eye's just going to snipe every time. You listening? You listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's make sure that we're getting in there. If they beat us out wide, then fair enough. Yeah, nudge. Get up, get up, Timo. Play, play. Yes, Tommy, Tommy. Oh, come on, Brock, let's go. We had 23 boys who all bought into the same standards, who all bought into the same style of play. We all wanted to achieve the same thing and, and we were all committed and very resilient throughout the season. Go, Brock, Brock, go one, go one. Oh no, go, go. Following up from last year where we won it, there's a big expectation of us. There's a lot of competition, a different competition this year. We've had quite a rough start to the season, but hopefully following a good weekend away at Wellington, I think we'll be able to sort of carry that on for the rest of the season. Yes, good. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, we're putting it on someone now, right? Give him something. It's quite like a bold thing to say, but I think if you don't go in there thinking that you're going to win and you've got to go for it, then 
then you won't get very far. So it's about like going in there with the right mentality to begin, like we did last year, which will then set you up for the rest of the tournament. Millfield have been there with some incredible teams and not one, okay? They have been there with some teams very much at the other end of the scale and finished up winning the tournament, okay? Because of the way you approach the games, they stay in the games. Very different format, I can't stress that enough. And keys, we stay in the game, stay in the game. So Bobby's on that. Nope. All right. Welcome. I think most of the boys are feeling good. Um, uh, just got to be confident going in from the first game. And I think we'll, we'll be able to do a job, but, you know, nothing's ever guaranteed. So I think we just need to do like the best of our ability and then, you know, we'll give ourselves like the best chance of winning. These are... <laughs> These are not what you want on the shot. Pink budgies. <laughs> I think it's more on ourselves. I think if we sort of, like I said, like back ourselves to do um, everything right, then then you know we should we should go very far and should do very well. Oh, let's hope this fits, man. Oh, we're in. We're in. Let's make this next 35 minutes your focus about transmitting that energy into these guys, yeah, and helping them. Bags of positivity, energy as we get into the first game, yeah. You're really important here in this part. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Jump in. Let's go. Should never like being called soft. Let's make sure we bring that physical edge with us today. We know our plays. Let's make sure we get them right. Okay, loads of opportunity and we go with intent with everything we do. We were sort of told coming into this that this would probably be our hardest game of the day. We knew pretty much nothing about them. All we knew was that they had a pretty good record. So we just assumed that they'd be very good at everything. Get on side, go. Get on, hit on intent. Hit on, hit on, hit on. Go, go, go. Hold your feet, hold your feet. I think if we're too flat, then that's where we'll definitely get punished. And I think we'll do really well if we can keep, keep, keep our depth and get the ball around. You're offside there, three points. That'll kill us, Henry Benetti. Patience in your D, Phil, 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 Henry, fill it, fill it. Come on, Jack Lee, keep moving those feet, Jack. Smiles on faces, let's enjoy ourselves, gotta enjoy it. So important we get it right these first five and a half. That's your own personal responsibility. Play for your teammates, be a good teammate. Understand what it is to be a Milford student, yeah? So at the end of the day, boys, it's special. Don't happen often. It's Millfield who will get us underway. Flicked out the base and Newcastle are battling. Yeah! This time they're over. Yeah! Now Millfield look to play with it. They're going straight to the wide channel. Excellent footwork to cut back inside. Picks from the base once more, out to the back line, and through the hole goes the number 12. Once again, Millfield find themselves five metres out, and they touch down once more. Got a real opportunity, like turnover ball, is like, that's going to be our super strength. Great, recognised, like, red screw is awesome. Great turnover as well. The slightest hole in RGS Newcastle's five metre defence, and two trips to the red zone have left Millfield ten points to the good. But this presents an excellent opportunity for them to get back into the game. Right in the closing stages of this first half, RGS Newcastle have a line out just shy on the inside of Millfield's 22. Clean line out ball and the ball is set. Great counter drive, but it is RGS Newcastle ball. No pens, no pens, no pens. Up we go, up we go. Push through, push through. Hold him up, hold him up. Ball's broken, Tackle. come away with it. Newcastle had possession just outside the five metre. Keep out, keep out. RGS Newcastle desperate to go to the break with some points on the board. Pick to the base once more.
next time on The Season. Dance is definitely a lot more accepted. The player that got tackled punched the Strathallan player in the face. This is a red card. Don't think you're going to go there and win it. You've got to work hard.